guys, it's time. The heads are here. Here's one head. And there's the other. So, machine shop. All they did was they resurfaced this surface. As you can see, I already got to cleaning it. They didn't clean it. As uh, you can kind of tell. They didn't check for leaks or uh, magnaflux is I think what, they, what you call it. Because this engine was never overheated and these rarely crack. I paid 120 bucks for both. They also took off the valve seals. How nice. So, I already cleaned this surface with this. This is where the exhaust manifold goes. Then here, I already cleaned this with the same pad or scratch pad or whatever this is. So that's ready to go. Then sprayed brake cleaner inside each valve hole right here because they need to be super clean inside. Now I did some heads on my uh, 06 STI way back and as I was cleaning it because the machine shop they didn't clean them and I, I still even if they did I would still clean the hell out of it if clean it out from metal shavings super important okay I mean get yourself brake cleaner a lot of cans so where's my flashlight so inspect each and every hole inside where the valves go make sure there's no metal shavings okay and then you're ready to go all right guys got this setup going now the head is obviously you know the front of it is facing me the intake uh, valves are going to be on top as i have them situated on the table exhaust valves on the bottom now I still could clean up the insides, the inside runners for the intake and exhaust, kind of maybe even polish them or, you know, clean them up a little bit here and there, but they're not too bad, not going to worry about it too much. So making sure everything is nice and clean inside the, the valve holes, whatever, I'm sure there's a name for it. I'm going to check again. Oh yeah, now, now they're perfect. All right, using WD-40, PP Blaster, or just oil. Oil is cheapest. Okay. I'm going to start with the intake valve here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to apply oil. Come on now. I'm going to apply oil. There we go right over here and insert insert the first intake valve now see how it just drops nicely make sure it does that okay if there's something like you you feel like it's maybe in the way or something don't push it don't force it this should be should go in on its own If it, it feels like there's something in there, take it out slowly, clean it, clean it out again, and try again. All right, so we're good on that. So now, using this tool, using this tool, where the hell? There you go. 
That's why I cleaned up the faces of the valves. So we could use this suction here. That's got to be clean and dry so this actually sticks to the valve. Okay, now, now the intake valves I'm only going to clean up with, which one was the, okay, so this one is coarse, if you can see that, and this one will be, should be fine grinding compound, I don't know if it says it, it doesn't say it, anyways, I know for a fact that this is fine, so you're going to use fine, and then, I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm going to only use fine on the intakes, and course on the exhaust valves and then fine all right now these can unstick or unsuck <laughs> at any moment so make sure you're doing this over over your table or something so it doesn't fall on the floor i'm going to apply this grinding compound on the seat of the valve, okay, apply a little bit more oil, you hear that, see what I mean, this end is too big, yeah. Yeah, this is always fun. Lifting up, turning, left and right, lifting up, and kind of changing, twisting it more to one side, either side, pick a side, pick right side, for example, and keep going left and right. See? Hear how, how the sound changes. That's why you can't do it in one spot. That's why you lift it also to get some of that compound in there again. But this should be fine. Like I said, these did not leak. I'm just kind of refreshing them. Okay, take it out slowly. I'm going to wipe this off. And there we go. So compared to one I didn't do yet, see what it looks like. You see that? All right. So this one goes back. I'll wipe this off. Pretty much looks the same on the head as on the valve. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna quickly do this and get back to you when I'm done. When I'm ready to do the actually, never mind. Let's do the exhaust one first or next. Make sure this is clean. Now, the course. Oh, this is new. Nice. I just found another, another uh, fine one. Is this fine? Doesn't say. Okay, so this one says. I should read the instructions more often. 
This one says it's got four grid sizes in one application. 220, 180, 150, and 120. So it starts as a course, which is 120, then just goes up to 220. So, okay, I'm not going to be using this one. So I'm going to do this again. The same valve on the fine grid. Fine grid, and then uh, continue with the course on the exhaust. Yeah, it actually feels much different. More smooth from the start. Maybe you can tell the difference in sound. Alright, so this basically looks exactly the same. Just more smooth. Alright, so exhaust. Before. Course. Yeah, this sucks. Now see how quiet it got? By lifting it up, you get more of the compound on the seat. Okay, I'm actually gonna see where we're at. All right, I don't know if you're gonna see that now. You see how it's cleaned up already? We got some black marks here that we need to get rid of, but this would probably hold pressure now. So we're gonna do this course one more time. Alright, this one needs a bit more, so one more pass. Got to get a, some kind of a system going. Help me, please. This is going to take all day. You just need to be perfect now, don't you, huh? I'm going to glue this to the valve. We're getting rid of these these uh, pittings everywhere. You probably don't see this. This camera sucks at close-ups, but the more shine, the better. So I guess it's gonna take a bit more than just two passes. Maybe I'm on the I'm gonna be on the fourth one now. This actually looks much better. I'm gonna get you in here. Are you seeing this, guys? So this shiny area compared to 
this we could probably leave it at that yeah I guess let's do one more all right I'm gonna call it on this one there's still a little bit more pitting in this area but it's much smoother now but this side is looking almost perfect okay now fine I mean fine grit You know, I am pressing on this a little bit as I spin. So do this until the, the sound changes. It's going to get a little bit more quiet, like now. Still going to try and get some in there by lifting it. It's nice and sticky now. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Ready valve? Not ready. Perfecto. All right, guys. I'm gonna get some music going and finish all this. I got six plus eight. Is that six plus? To do. Guys. All left. Took a while. Now, next step would be to clean both heads, everything, brake cleaner, don't be shy. Because this is the last time you're going to use brake cleaner on basically all of it, okay? Now it's time to install the valve seals. Okay, so intake side up, exhaust side down. Gray seals are for intake green or for exhaust now what i do i take a a 12 point 10 mil socket why 12 point because it's more round make sure it's clean now okay inside outside everywhere this is the very first one i'm doing make sure it's straight make sure your hammer is also clean everything needs to be clean and you're going to be cleaning it again as you can see, this is a clean area over here. Okay, make sure it's straight on. And just tap it in. That was the intake. Now let's do exhaust. Make sure it's straight. Did you hear that sound? How it changed? That's when you know you're all the way in. Light taps, guys. Let's do one more intake. Can you see that? Let me get you in a little closer. All right, this is as close as you're gonna get. That's it. Once the sound changes, kind of tap around the socket. The sound should be the same all around. Okay, I'm gonna do all of these. Clean the next head, install the seals, and then it's gonna be installing back to installing valves. <laughs> 